All right, this is going to be a tutorial on Arcania. A buddy of mine picked up a copy of it, and he's been playing it. And of course, he comes with no instructions, and he knows that I beat it. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Skills and Spells. Give you a second to look at this. This is the setup that I used to defeat it on the hardest level possible. As you can see, I've maxed out two, two of those. Um... That basically is your health and melee power. You want your melee power up high. And I'll explain a little bit when I go into the equipment section and I show you the weapon that I'm using. Um, but this one gives you flurry. And as you keep going up, see like this one here, perform up to six strikes in a row before having to recover. Dude, if you played this, you know as you sit there and you strike, strike, and you're like, eh, you run out of breath. It's a... Ugh. So you want to try to get that up. This afflicts more damage. But all the way at the top, this allows you to do three flurries consecutively. All right. And that really does a lot of damage. That's simple. This helps deal with your ranged weapons a little bit. But it also increases your mana. Which you'd want more mana because of the magic. You want to do this to get up so at least you can sneak all right and then this one is the one that you really want um i've experimented with serenity which is a frost and lightning and i just don't like i don't like them fire does the most damage sits there burns a lot and it just it really once you get it up to the full level you can pretty much almost take out everybody that's top level, that's Inferno, does an instant 729 damage to multiple targets, and then it does a whirlwind, and I'll show you a little bit later on how that works. Now, it doesn't damage you, but it doesn't damage them. So if they're coming, you let them get close, you cast it at them, and then you run around in circles while they're trying to get you, and they sit there and burn continuously. As soon as it starts to burn down, you cast it again. I have taken out some very heavy, high-level things on the hard setting using that. All right, now we're going to go into inventory. I've got two-handed weapons. I've tried them. They're slow. They really are. Plus the fact that when you're using a two-handed weapon, you can't equip your shield. Now, if you're just getting into this game, everything that you equipped gives you stats. Like if you, top one here on the right is a one-handed weapon, and it gives me that. Now, that does have better stats. Yes, I agree. It's a two-handed weapon, adds more health, stamina, but over here is Lee's... Wait a minute, is that equipped? Wait a minute, where's, where's the darn shield that's equipped? Wait a minute. Let me go to equipment. Bracers. Hold on a second here. Give me one second. Okay, Lee Shield. So I lose Lee Shield if if I go to a two-handed weapon, which reduces my armor by 200 and all that. So you do the mathematics on this. You have a shield equipped with 200 armor, 45 health, stamina, yada, yada, yada. Now we go back to the weapons. 45 health. Magic, stamina. But the thing is, if you look at this weapon, this is the reason why I keep this weapon. Look down at the bottom, if you can read it. Whenever you strike an opponent, whatever damage you do, you get back 20% of the cause damage in health. So I do a thousand blow, I'm getting 200 health restored instantly. And if I do that multiple times, it kind of eliminates the need for potions. You don't have to worry about potions. You don't have to worry about, you know, healing yourself, using your food, and all that other stuff. So that's like one of the best. Now, this one you find way later in the game, but in the earlier one, 
You'll actually, there's one, I believe, if I remember correctly, it does 10%, 10% of the cause damage, which is just as good. And I pretty much used that weapon the entire game until I found this one. All right. Now in the middle level, you'll see how health regen is only 16. Why? Because I have that one-handed weapon. That regens my health when I'm doing damage. Very good. I'm more concerned with mana regen, stamina, stamina, not so much stamina, but mana. Really want it. Increase your health, increase your mana. Get them up high. These stats right here basically allowed me to kick butt. Now the ranged weapons. Even if you don't use it, um, now the crossbow, now the bow, you can zoom in with the bow and do headshots and stuff like that. So while the crossbow might be more powerful, it's not as, it's not as, it's like the, you, you got a uh, scope on, on the bow and it really helps. But when I'm going to fight a main boss and I'm not using ranged because I'm using my sword and I'm using the fire, I switched and I equipped the crossbow because it's got better stats. All right. Now on equipment. Basically anything, anything that has health, mana, you know, adds the stuff up. All right. It'll help. It'll it'll help you do it. Now I've got all I've got some different armor sets, but you want to look for you know increase your health, increase your mana, um, do the setup of maybe a little regeneration stuff. All right. Consumables basically keep all your food. You'll eventually use it, especially if you're doing the hard the bandages. Try to. I use the lower health potions when I'm running through, when I'm doing, when I'm getting ready to do the main boss battles. I will switch and I'll hotkey. If you look to the left, you'll see that the the best healing potion that I have, <laughs> which heals the most amount. And then on potions, as we go down, we're going to run into potions. Um. I do use potions, as you can see here. I'll click the button, and this one is actually hotkeyed because I like to use this one because it adds 300 plus armor, gives you 120 health regen also. And you can stack potions. So you decide which ones best suit your play style and how you go. All right, miscellaneous, don't worry about that. Scrolls. Now, you're going to run into several different types of scrolls in the game. Scrolls can be reused over and over and over again. Okay. They don't disappear. Unlike these, which are consumables. But the scrolls are not. I've tried all the scrolls. I just don't like any of them. They're just kind of a pain in the butt. But the, these four wins and the seven wins are great, and I'll show you why. All right, that's about it for the inventory. Um, quickly, we'll... Oh, sh shoot. I just accidentally... Eh, it doesn't matter. Um, you've got all sorts of different equipment that you can make up. As you go through the game, you decide what you want to use. Just remember to save it before you make up the equipment because, like on these ones down here, <laughs> once you've made it, you're not getting it back because you're only going to get one holy essence. All right. That's it. Um, some of these things, like the magic ore, you need the shield of bitterness. Well, there's certain things that stack up and go. Now, alchemy. You will be able to make some of those potions up. Like this essence of immortality. Um, you're, the royal. Some of these ingredients are kind of hard to find. 
So when you find them, don't sell them. Keep them. Keep all your ingredients for crafting. End of story. Keep the ingredients for your crafting stuff. Any stuff that you find, keep it. All right. Let's get out of here. And, okay, now we're going to go in this. Now, that's the main boss right there. I'm not going to go play him right now. All right, so, you got your weapons. All right. You can switch. There's the crossbow. See, you can't zoom up with the crossbow. We're going to switch to the fire here. Now, when you do this, and you sit there and hold it down, see the see just below the white dot how I got the four? That is stacked. Watch this. See how the fire is circling around? It's kind of, uh, let me run back here. There we go. See how it went? Whoosh. So this thing will continuously circle around. So if you got opponents, you cast this. And you sit there and run around and have them chase you. I know, you're going, oh man, what the hell, you just run so slow in this game. Well, that's where the scrolls come in handy for those four and seven wins. I got a hotkey. Watch this. So if I'm in an open area, yeah, you want to be in an open, kind of, it's kind of hard in a tunnel like this. But you sit there. Oh, shoot. sit there run around and they're gonna take the damage and they're gonna burn 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 okay now I've slowed down well guess what I have the other scroll and you can sit there and do this and they will regenerate that's how easy it is I wish I had some opponents I could do to, to kill but I've got no opponents and that's about it so, there you go. That's about all there is to it. Pretty darn simple. Use the fire. You can do single shots. Like I said, you get your health down, you sit there and you really... God, it's been so long. I don't, even, I don't even know if you can do a flurry without... I think you need an opponent to do a flurry. No, wait, wait, no, no. I think it's you push back and then quickly hit it. Yep, that's a flurry. So, you only... Thing I hated the only thing I wish this game had was um, you got the roll you got to jump but you can't jump you can't swing in the air it'd be so nice to be able to jump up and wham do an overhead strike <laughs> that's about the only thing but hey what do you expect I mean for a cheap little game this is one fun RPG to play so there you go. Boom. Oh, I should... Nah, I'm not going to bother. All right, so there you go. I'm going to run it. Put this up so you can check it out. And if it helped you, hopefully it helped you and uh, helped you play a little bit better and uh, have fun playing it.